All right, what's up? So I was just at class, and I skipped the old pre-workout ritual again. Um, I just warmed up on some rows. I'm gonna warm up this uh, lat pull down, bro. <sighs> All right. Every time I hit back, I feel like I'm learning how to do that pull down. Alright, I'm going to try that again. So, I weighed myself this morning. I'm currently 195. So I'm back to being victim weight. But, whatever. I'm saying, victim weight looks prettier. I just want to be pretty, you know? Alright, I said it was going to be quick, so that means drop sets. I really only fuck with drop sets when it's like, that's all you can have time for, you know? Because it is really good to rest like a good minute to five minutes in between, but it doesn't always work out like that. And a wise man once said, you gotta see how you perform when the odds are against you, right? Now, moving on to maybe one more set of these, but I won't record it. And then I'm going to do a mid back row, either a bent over row or a cable row. We'll see. All right, so found this cable row with this handle. So. I think I've used one like this before. I know they have like a, like that mag strength grip. It's like the same thing and I really like that. So let's test it out. Okay, so it rotates. Need to get to that middle with the straps so that it doesn't start flipping around on me. Alright, so if you see this, when I stick my back out, put my shoulders back, and I'm rowing like that, that's hitting my upper back when I lean forward a little and pull towards my lower back. 
that hits more of that bottom lat to get that width but I'm trying to get a little bit of width and a little bit of thickness so I'm gonna bump that up that was pretty light so this is kind of cool because there's two cables or two stacks on one machine so I guess you can get it up to 220 that's not that much but whatever I don't know what it actually is because there's two pulleys and I'm no mathematician like I spent all morning in my math class and the only thing that I took home with me was you know maybe a little bit of some formulas but mostly my teacher was saying something about how she started going to planet fitness and when she was um she was working out for the first time heavy with a trainer i guess and she was talking about how she couldn't help but like grunt while she was trying to do it and everybody was like oh dude, that's rude like you shouldn't do that and I was like, fuck that. Like, I guess she set off the lunk alarm. But the lunk alarm is really just for, like, motherfuckers like me. But I am not at Planet Fitness, so I don't care. So, my logic with today is I'll usually warm up a little bit for whatever body part, and then I'll try and, like, pace it up to my max, and then I start my working set from there, maybe do two sets of that. If it's not going too smooth, drop it a little bit, hit a proper set, and then I'll come back and drop the weight just, like, 10, 15 pounds. Do one last set and then maybe do like a lighter squeezing set but since the cut is creeping up a little too fast for my liking i just am about to do a little bit of progressive overload for the last like week while i still have some glycogen in my muscles so that's what i'm doing right now like i've been going up instead of down if that makes sense so Probably gonna hit this, which is like 150, and then drop it. I guess pro I'll probably drop it like 40 pounds and then just go nuts. So, here we go.
dropping it. But yeah, I mean, with all this crap, like, oh, warm up sets, drop sets. It's like, how are you really looking at it? Because what I just did is I started lower, did a couple sets, and I did go to a failure, but I mean, one could count that as a warm up. So maybe I will. Okay, so I was considering doing some standing bent over rows because they have a pretty cool like standing T-bar row machine here. But I will tell you what that I, I guess if, since you wouldn't know, I did a little leg day at a different LA Fitness yesterday, and it was a. Uh, I'll just say it was a rush job. It was decent. Like, I got some good work in, but I did um, laying leg curls just, like, as hard as I could. And that got my hammies, like, a little sore. Not too bad, but I can tell they're a little crampy today. And then I did uh, leg extensions. A heavy set of hack squat, and then right after the set of hacks, or I mean Smith Machine squat, I did um, Smith Machine RDLs, and that was killer, I'll tell you what. So, my back is a little sore, and especially since I was in a car accident approximately seven days ago, I ought to take it easy on the old back, because... That was real screwed up and enough to make me not want to go to the gym. Enough to make me not want to go to the gym. So I'm going to do this and then maybe if I'm feeling a little better, I'll do some of those bent over rows on the T-bar machine. Or if not, I'll do the mid row machine that they have here because I love that thing. So, I don't remember if I posted it or not, but in one of my old videos, I was talking about how, how I used the D handle on this thing. But if you really just go with the natural rotation of your arms, you should be fine. So, like, check it. See, I'm fully extended. My shoulders are rolled forward. Retract your scaps. Pull all the way down. And then kind of... Uh, 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 uh. Let them roll forward a tad. Don't let it roll forward too much. Or else it's just not doing anything. So, I really love this gym because they have like pretty much every hammer strength machine um, and even some like old ones that I've just never seen before. Like they have a, what's it called, a um, Bulgarian split squat machine where you hold two handles with plates on the side and I guess you could just do lunges or something but they have a pad on there where you can put your back foot up and it you know, it's real comfy, so I need to start coming here for more for leg days, but 
you know, it just really depends on my schedule for the day. So, but the, oh, the only thing I don't like about it is there's so much stuff in here. And the gym is not really all that big. So, it's hard to fit and get good camera angles without just being completely in the way of someone else. You gotta be, you gotta have good gym etiquette, you know? So, I'm gonna do one more of these. I bumped it up quite a bit. And then, I'm gonna do some rear delts. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, so I'm going to do some rear delt rows slash flies. So I'm going to start off a little bit lighter and try and do some flies and then bump the weight up and do some rows. Started out a little too heavy, but that's okay. I realized you cannot really see me in that last clip. So. God damn it, my bag's in the way. Whatever. So, I like to mess around with, like, rear delt stuff just because you're really going to hit, you know, the other button muscles in your back, like your traps, inevitably. But sometimes, like, if I'm getting too much, I'll not wrap my thumbs. I'll just tuck my thumbs back. So, for those ones, it's just really important for those rows that you don't let your shoulders roll forward. You really want to keep your scapula retracted and 
your shoulders locked in place so that when you come up here, it's not just like a rolling forward on your chest. You're really trying to get it to squeeze against your rib cage and your shoulders so you can stretch out that rear delt head. So. All right, so this is kind of one of those moments where I'm fucking around because the regular pec deck is taken. So what I'm going to do is use this one and you can kind of get your hands out of the equation. So check this out. It's a little bit funky, but... Push it back some more. All right, ready? If you're sweaty, you'll be slipping a bit. <sighs> so yeah, I just wanted to show you that. And now, I'm going to go to this cool machine. Like I said, this gym has a bunch of old ass machines that are just fi. So this is a seated row, but for whatever reason, it is just hard as balls. So check this out. I'm not even gonna go that heavy on this. I'm put out like 85. <sighs> 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 finish off with some lat pull downs and some V bar pull downs and then definitely gonna just spam on some uh, single arm pull downs pillovers or whatever they're called we just grab the top of the cable and just pull down with your lat <sighs> Oop, that's not heavy enough yeah, don't forget to check the weight stack. Just pro tip, right? Oh, I was feeling a bit wonky. All right. 
I don't really like this one all that much, especially for like a, a working set. But, you know, you got to confuse the muscle, so I throw it in there at the end every once in a while. But, yeah, oh shit. Gotta kill myself. You can tell all my brain blood is up in my back right now because I'm not thinking. Time. All right, so the cable stacks are all taken, but I have this machine, and I kind of like it because it's like a high row kind of. And what I like to do is just grab one of these. Just like so. Whoops. For each arm, of course. And it's the same. It's the same concept as like the um the cable stack. It's just you got a little machine here for you. Uh huh. That was weird. But yeah, you know the drill. I think you do. You should. I'm really not going to failure on these just because I want to feel that squeeze. Well, I just realized I think I was doing it a little bit weird on this side. So I'm going to try again. Scat back. Move forward a little bit. And let it like fall up. pretty nice but now I'm gonna just do some of these just for fun because I haven't really used this machine in a while Thank <laughs> you. 
I was slipping a little bit, but I think it's honestly just time to check the pump. I gotta get a class in a second. So, another, I guess, I guess you could call it a downside. I don't know, but there is a lot of old heads here, like old school bodybuilder guys, so they are not big fans of the tripods. And I'm not even saying it's all the guys. Like, most of the guys are cool. There's a lot of hardcore, like, women here. And they just, like, get so pissed off. So, I like this is the little racquetball hallway they got here. So, I'm going to just see how it's going. I don't know if... I think I posed down here one time. And the pump showdown. But, yeah, so... This is, like, a... This gym it's just had, has been purposefully not renovated by the request of a lot of these members. So I can't hate on them too hard. Because <laughs> I really enjoy it. Like, this is one of the gyms, like, like I live in Georgia. So there's a, there is a lot of nice gyms, but not a lot of them have that cool golden era equipment the guts looking pretty bad today but let's see how it's doing a little uh making me a little lightheaded That was a pretty good little back day. Um, now I'm about to make my protein shake. And because this is the cut, I can only do Gatorade, or uh, sorry, one serving of Gatorade, not four. So um, I'm gonna start taking creatine again. I got this bullshit off of TikTok. Or my, I should say my brother did, and then I stole it. But, um, yeah. I like this one because it's like cherry limeade. And I like it with, um, sorry, this shit's annoying. Car radio is broken. This is the junk mobile, by the way. Um,. I like it because it's a little bit sour, but it still has like a strawberry flavor. And it mixes with this nasty ass fucking protein I got like a long time ago. It makes it taste a tad bit better. Oops, no water in there. So yeah, pro tip. I mean, personally, I would rather have like a sour strawberry flavor than like a, like, a stra like this is strawberries and cream and it tastes like shit and it's like really like if you let it sit for more than like a minute it gets really clumpy and like sludgy so I don't know if it's supposed to be like that because it's like creamy or whatever but I don't fuck with it so it's a little two scooper day scoop of creatine and then 
a scoop of Gatorade. I just got this big old tub. Upgraded it from the little baby tub. So yeah, just a tablespoon and two thirds. Or shit. See, clearly I still don't have any blood in my brain yet. A, t a teaspoon and two thirds. So, a teaspoon. So, that's the concoction for today. Because I have to go to class and I cannot have food. So, I'm going to do this. I'm pretty sure. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 80 plus... So like uh, 300 calories, not too bad for 50 grams of protein plus a little bit of, plus like 22 grams of sugar. It's hot. I am burning up, dude. Yeah, like, sorry if you ever have a class with me. I walk in that motherfucker on the verge of death on the daily. So I can imagine that I look a bit insane, but it's okay. And that's all she wrote for me. So I'll see y'all on the chest day if I fucking remember to film it. Peace.